Okay, so I'm going to show you how to configure an MGCP gateway and register it with Call Manager. We're going to start with the router. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the host name. Configure terminal, host name, we're going to change it to GWY for short for gateway. Right. Next we're going to do a uh, in and show inventory to see what we have installed on this router. Alright, so we have an NMHDB high density voice module with a VWIC T1 or two MFT T1DI card installed. That's two T1 ports. We also have our uh, PVDMs, our DSP resources for converting IP voice to circuit voice and circuit voice to IP voice. Alright, next we're going to set up the uh, CCM manager config settings and then we're going to enable MGCP and establish an MGCP call agent. So CCM manager config and global config, CCM manager config server and the IP address of the call manager, CCM manager MGCP to allow it to control MGCP. Next we're going to turn on MGCP and we're going to set up an MGCP call agent which will be the call manager. Okay, so we can take a look at the registration process, we can show CCM manager we see it's trying to register with call manager. Okay, next we're going to go into the call manager and we're going to go device, gateway, and we're going to add new. And the type it's a 2600 series router, so we're going to pick Cisco 26XX. It's a 2621, so this is, that's the best fit. Go next. Uh, the host name we changed to GWY, so that's what we want to set for the domain name. And our CUCM group, go ahead and set that for this one as default. We're using module, the module in slot one. Uh, slot zero is the onboard slot that's attached to the uh, motherboard of the router. And uh, that's where you would like directly seat a WIC or a VWIC card. In this case, we're using a network module, and the VWIC card is is seated within that network module. So we're going to pick uh, NMHDV for our option here. We're going to go save. Okay. All right. We're not going to apply because it's there's nothing to apply yet. We're going to go ahead and pick a VWIC 2 MFT T1. Now it's a T1 DI, but the T1 option will work just fine. We're going to pick that. We're going to save it and we're going to apply config now. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a PRI. The uh, port 0 of this card is connected to the DMS100 as a T1 PRI with the ISDM protocol variant of NI2. So that's the way we're going to set this side up too. So you need to pick your device pool. We got various other uh, settings that you can go in and set if you'd like. Uh, we're using NI2 for our protocol variant. Uh, this side is user, the DMS100 side is network. You want to have them opposite. Channel selection order, we're going top down, 1 to 23. And lastly, we'll take a look at our line coding and framing settings. Uh, we got BAZS, binary 80 substitution, and extended super frame. That's what we want. We're good to go. We're going to save this. And next we're going to apply config. Okay. Now it says unregistered, so we're going to go into the router and we're going to take a look at show CCM manager and see what's going on with this. Alright, so it's trying to register. Go back to MGCP gateway configuration the status. We're going to click on this port again and see exactly what is going on. It is unregistered. Okay. We'll take a look again. Okay. Domain name unresolvable. Alright, so call manager is trying to register as a domain name of CUCM8 and we have it set as an IP address. So we need to put in a IP host statement to make this work. So config T, IP host, CUCM8 and the IP address of call manager. Okay, 
We're going to go back into call manager. We're going to take a look at that port and see what the registration is set. It's registered with CUCM, CUCM 8 and the IP address of the gateway 10110202. And if we go to the gateway, show CCM manager registered CUCM8, which is 172.20.0.254. And that is how you configure and register a an MGCP gateway with call manager.